Hey guys, I'm quickly going to take you through the settings for facebookautoposter.com. It's an awesome little app that you can use to post to Facebook and, and Facebook groups and pages and everything on a schedule. Um, it really is a time saver. Uh, I post to a lot of these buy and sell Facebook pages for my business. And the problem is as soon as you post to one of them, um, your post just drops down because a lot of people post to these things and, and only a few people see your post. So the only way to really make it effective is to post to these pages regularly. That means every day, twice a day, I have to log in and go to these pages and manually post to these pages and groups. With autoposter.com, I can set it up once and then from there on it runs and it automatically posts. So it really is a time saver for me. Um, so let me show you how it works. We're just going to go log in. And once we're in, uh, we don't have anything. This is where you'll be posting from. But since we don't have any accounts set up, we won't be able to post yet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Accounts Facebook. And here you'll see all the accounts that's listed on the on the uh, system on autoposter.com. So we're going to add a new account. There's none here yet. So let's add new account. It's going to open up this screen with a whole lot of different options. We're just going to go for the simple one. We leave the rest to the techie. So we're going to go for the one right in the corner on the right hand side here using your app. So we need a Facebook app ID and we need a Facebook app secret. To get that, we're going to go to developers.facebook.com. And it will ask you if you want to create an app, connect on a global scale. This is Facebook's API. So this is what allows different things to connect to Facebook. So we're just going to click create app. It'll open this screen and now we're going to give the app a name. Just remember that this is the name from where your posts will come. So you need to give your post a, a nice name. I, I like calling it, yeah, people are awesome. I mean, it's something that resonates with people. We're going to choose a category. We're just going to choose education and we're going to go create app ID. And there you go. You've got your app created. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our dashboard. And right over there, you'll see your app ID and your app secret. So these are the ones you're going to use later on. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to settings. And you will see over here, you can add a platform. So you're going to click add platform website. And you put the URL of your site. The URL of your site wouldn't be the URL of your site. It would be this one. Autoposter.com. So we're going to take that. And we're going to drop it in there. And we're going to drop it in there. You've got your email address that you have to complete in there if it's not automatically in. Don't worry about any of the rest. We're going to go save changes. And there you go. Now we're going to go to app review. And make people are awesome public. So it means do you want to switch on your app? We're going to do that. Yes. Are you sure you want to make it public? Yes. Confirm. Okay. And there's your app ready now. So we go back to the dashboard. We pick our app ID. We're going to go copy. And we're going to drop that in there. And we pick our app secret, which you have to put your password in first. And you can see it. So you're going to grab that. And we're going to put that in there. I know it's a bit of a process to get it set up, but trust me, the amount of time it saves you later on makes it well worth the effort. Okay, and then this screen is what pops up. Uh, people are awesome, and you're just going to click continue as Kali. 
or continue as your name, obviously. Uh, yes, they would like to post to Facebook for you. You want it to be public. Okay. Manage your pages. Yes. And there you go. You set up. So there we are, Kali Farmer, that Facebook profile of mine is set up. And if I say that Facebook profile of mine, I generally use uh, secondary Facebook profiles for this kind of posting. Uh, I create a couple of profiles because on a lot of these groups where you post stuff for sale, people don't like it if you post too often. So what I do is I use different profiles to post. Um, it has also happened before where Facebook has like banned a profile if you post too often um, and I do not want to risk that with my, my main profile so I generally just create secondary profiles that I use for that and there we go we are set up we've got our profile so if we go to dashboard now we will see that we can post as the two pages that's on that profile and the one group that this profile owns and we can also also pay to uh, post to my own timeline but I also want to post to the groups that I have joined and as you can see that's not here yet so what we need to do is we need to set up we need to set that up and that um, is another little process so let's go there to manage um, sorry let's go down here to groups so there click here to get a list of groups and it will open up this screen so once again you're going to go allow permissions okay we close this up and you will see that it automatically put a URL in there so what we do is we grab this URL over here we copy it we go to our Chrome browser or another browser it doesn't seem to work that well with Edge we put it in there we go enter and it will bring up this whole thing here so what we do is we then choose the whole URL in the top select all copy and we go back to over here and we go control V we post it in there and we submit and we can close this one down and what we will see now when we go down is all the groups that we've joined so buy and sell buy and sell backyard gardening make money so all our groups are over here and we can now post to any of these groups i'll do another video in which i will show you how to post the how the different post options work but um there we go this is how you set up your facebook auto poster cheers